so it's uh, it's just the difference of virtual human that now this model will be done in computer not in our brain not on the piece of paper but we delegate somehow our understanding to computer model and when we build this computer model we can start with uh, three different ways uh, but they are very much linked one to another one of them is uh, data driven it was called digital human when we start with a lot of measurements of emergent properties and then we can go to interacting components and we can already reconstruct the network of interacting components from measuring a lot about systemic behavior. Another approach is to start with interacting components and this is so-called concept of silicon cell, silicon human we can say. This is mechanism driven approach. So we first know mechanism, we measure this mechanism, we put it in equations then we do another measurement for another interaction and then we integrate it together and then we reconstruct emergent behavior in a computer model. And another approach is, let's say, virtual humans, it's a middle out. But this is a bit, uh, there are three approaches, top down, bottom up and middle out. And in principle, there are three different ways, like digital human, virtual human and silicon human. But in my presentation, I use virtual human without differentiating how actually it's built. Uh, and I think that silicon cell approach is used to build virtual human. So it, sometimes we can use it like a synonyms, digital virtual silicon human, but we can also say that this is a bit reflecting different approaches in building whole body human model.